our new fans have arrived. We ordered two of these yesterday. They arrived today. They're about $100, $110 a piece, so they're definitely not cheap. But as you can see, they can rotate to pretty much any angle you want. We need 12 volts DC, and we, I know for sure I have it up here. And I know that it's for sure running to these lights. These lights are actually pretty fantastic. They pop on and provide a lot of light. I can really splice this in anywhere. Probably do it right in here. Now what gauge is that? 12. All right, so this is positive. This came with the kit. That's kind of short. So basically you've got to find a wire that is close enough. So I splice those in, so I positive and negative, and then I'm going to attach it to this. So this is the, uh, the live wire. Got to make sure that crimp's tight. Good splice. So these things come with nuts. So what I'm going to do is put these little, little bits on. The directions advise you to use pliers to tighten the nuts rather than relying on hand tightening. I got these in now. I'm going to try to ratchet them. The wires are attached. You can feed the wires through the wire notch or you can go through the corresponding holes in the backing plate. We chose to go through the wire notch. Oh, oh, I don't know that I would use sticky tape. They do include a double-sided tape. It's like a foam pad. It's double-sided and it's semi-permanent. So actually the mounting itself needs to be done by us. Let me look for some screws. Please note that this is semi-permanent adhesive. The idea is I need to feed the top one with the fan coming on again through this top thing over here. They do provide the two screws that you need to secure the fan to the backing plate. So we finally got it in there. It was really difficult. I had to basically switch this over, flip it the other direction. It's really hard to tell which way is which on there, but we finally got it to slide in. You have to line it up perfectly and it's really a challenge. So that's kind of the plan is to have it really up high out of the way. Yep. The light is back together, the fan is in position. It looks fantastic, you did a wonderful job. I am going to try to put my fan right here. So on to fan number two. Because of where the buttons are that turn this on and off, it's hard not to constantly press on them while you're installing it. Those buttons are on both sides. We've been using our fans now for probably three months. I need to clean it off. I actually do clean off the dust periodically, but you can see it's time again. I put my fan vertically, and I will say that it definitely has been bumped and slammed into many, many, many times by virtually every member of the family. Because of this placement, I can move this fan in every direction, and I love that. When I'm trying to get out of the bed, I have to be careful, and also I have repeatedly stuck my fingers in the fan. It's a good thing that it's just a plastic design, so no harm, no foul. The nice thing about the way that Aaron put his is that he actually has his little computer resting on the top of it, and it cools it off. He does not move his fan, it always stays in this position, which he thinks is ideal, and I don't disagree. He never bumps into it, so if you have anything that you might want to cool with your fan, consider placing it in this orientation. 